This terrible story happened to me and my friend Dima. After passing the session, Dima and I decided to go to Moscow for the World Athletics Championships. After collecting our bags, we decided to go in my car. It was very hot, there was no air conditioner in my car, and only open windows saved us from the heat. Closer to night, it was getting cooler, the daylight had almost disappeared over the horizon. Having left on the bypass road, cars were extremely rare for us. After driving two kilometers, we were stopped by a traffic police post. It was amazing to meet a traffic police post on this section of the road. Having stopped on the side of the road, a traffic police officer about 40 years old approached us. He aroused my suspicions, because he constantly looked around and asked strange questions, after checking my driver's license, he wished us a safe journey. After driving 20 meters, the hood of the car began to smoke from the traffic police post. I stopped the car to see what happened, opening the hood on me hot steam escaped, I realized that the engine had overheated. After getting into the car, I tried to start it, but nothing worked. About three minutes later, the traffic cop who stopped us at the post drove up to us. The traffic cop offered us to tow our car to his house, and in the morning his car mechanic friend would come and fix our cars, and then we would be able to continue our journey, we agreed. After driving for about 20 minutes, we saw an old small two-story house in front of us, the light in which burned very dimly. Getting out of the car, the traffic cop said that we would go into the house, his wife was already waiting for us there, he himself went to the shed next to the house. Going into the house, I thought, how can you live here, mold on the walls, the floor is all rotten. In the next room we heard some noise, when we came in we saw his wife chopping meat, when she saw us, she smiled and said that we would go into the hall, this is the right room along the corridor. After going into the hall, we sat down on the sofa and began to look at the room, the walls were hung with the heads of dead animals, the table in front of us was strewn with small bones, to the right of the sofa was a basin containing the heads of dead cows. The wife of a traffic cop came into the room and told us, can any of you help me? Dima said I could. She said, okay, come with me. A minute later I heard some noise coming from the next room, but I was afraid to get up and see what was going on there. Suddenly, a huge man two meters tall entered the room, with a mask on his face, his clothes were all covered in blood. He raised the axe up and ran screaming at me, I jumped up from the sofa and ran towards the front door, but it was locked, I ran to the kitchen, but there was no one there. I began to inspect the room and see if there was a way out, when the wife of the traffic cop entered the room. I ran up to her and started telling her that some guy with an axe broke into the room, and he chased me, she looked at me, and said that this was her son, and he was not a man at all, he was only 15 years old, and sharply hit me in the face. I lost consciousness. I woke up from the pain in my legs, they were wrapped with barbed wire, on a hook to my right, covered in blood, Dima was paddling. I started trying to free my legs from the wire when suddenly a traffic cop came into the room, I asked him why. To which he replied to me, such bastards as you bullied my son as a child, now it's time for him to bully you. He punched me in the face and left. I started calling Dima to wake up, but he didn't show any signs of life. Gritting my teeth, I started trying to free my legs from the barbed wire again. Each time she descended lower and lower, tearing the skin off my legs from the unbearable pain, tears poured out of my eyes. Having freed myself completely from the wire, I ran up to Dima. I began to lift him by his legs to the top to take him off the hook as he began to scream in pain, unable to stand my hands weakened, and I let go of his legs, and the hook entered his body even deeper. I looked up and saw someone's footsteps through the cracks, most likely this someone was coming towards us. Someone opened the door to the basement and looked in to see what was going on in our room. I was standing parallel to this door, so the light that came from above illuminated me completely. I heard you son of a bitch, the traffic cop said it. He started to walk down the stairs at a fast pace, I grabbed the hook that was lying next to my feet and hid under the table. The traffic cop went down to the basement and started looking for me, passing by the table, I sharply stuck a hook into it, he fell to the floor, clutching his leg, out of anger I took him by the hair and started hitting the floor, when his face literally turned into porridge I calmed down. I heard Dima start calling me for help, I ran up to him and said that I would get you out of here, I started looking for some stick, so that Dima could hold it in his teeth when I start taking him off the hook. Not finding anything, I told him that I would go up and look for something there. Having pulled the hook out of the traffic cop's leg, I began to climb up, my heart was pounding at that time, I was very scared for my own and Dima's life. Going upstairs, I opened the door and got into a room in which there were about 20 human corpses, the smell that stood in this room haunts me to this day. In the right corner of the room there was this big guy, he was chopping meat with his axe, I slowly walked into the next room, as suddenly one of the boards in the floor could not stand my weight and broke, he heard some noise, but did not betray this significance. Slowly I started to stick my foot out of the crack, when suddenly the door to the basement opened and a traffic cop crawled out of there with the last of his strength and shouted, kill his son. I abruptly got up and ran into one of the rooms, locking the door, I turned my face into the room, and saw three men sitting at a table and eating a woman. 
They looked at me and started laughing, one of them said, we're going to have it for dinner tonight. When I saw the open window, I ran up and jumped out of it. Running away from the infernal house, I heard a pissing female scream. Stopping, I turned around, looked at this house, two thoughts were spinning in my head to run back and rescue her with Dima, or call someone for help. Remembering that the nearest settlement is 40 kilometers away, I decided to return. When I reached the threshold of the house, I saw a fire escape from the side that led directly to the roof of the house, next to this staircase on the second floor a window was open. I climbed through an open window and got into the corridor, I looked into each of the rooms in search of the woman who was screaming. Slowly walking into one of the rooms, I saw the wife of a traffic cop standing with her back to me, she was combing the girl who was screaming. From the first floor I heard a cry of dinner, I ran into the next room and closed the door behind me, pushing through a small crack, I saw the wife of the traffic cop leave the room. Slowly I opened the door and looked into the hallway to make sure there was no one there. When I entered the room where this woman was sitting, I was in real horror, she was completely naked, her fingers were cut off, there were scars and abrasions all over her body she was staring at one point, not paying attention to me. Taking her by the shoulders, I started telling her to get out of here. She looked at me and started screaming, I didn't understand what was going on, she raised her hand, pointing up at my shoulder, only then I realized that there was someone behind me, I turned sharply back, I saw the wife of a traffic cop, she hit me on the head with something. I lost consciousness. I woke up at the table, six more people were sitting next to me, my friend Dima was lying in the center of the table, someone from behind the table shouted Oleg, we want to eat the son of a traffic cop came into the room with an axe, and began to carve up Dima's corpse. I started to feel sick. He cut pieces of meat from Dima and put them in each plate. My hands were tied to the chair, I started saying, why are you doing this? What harm have we done to you? The wife of a traffic cop came up to me and said, son, these are our traditions I screamed. You're not normal, you crazy family of freaks. The son of a traffic cop came up to me and hit me on the fingers with an axe. I screamed in unbearable pain, he picked up my fingers from the floor and began to put them in his mouth. He chewed my fingers, I could hear bones breaking. When I heard someone start knocking on the front door, I started shouting. Help! Trying to break the ropes on my hands, I kept calling for help. The wife of the traffic cop said. Oleg, go kill this idiot who's banging on our door, and you all go to the kitchen and prepare to for cutting meat. When everyone left the room, I was left alone with this woman who was calling for help, her hands were not connected, I began to ask her to untie me, she took a knife and came up to me, squatting down, and began to cut the ropes. Having freed myself from the ropes, I took a knife that was lying on the table, and cut a piece of cloth from my t-shirt, to wrap my hand with the fingers cut off. Looking at the woman, I said to her, we need to get out of here. She sat down at the table and said, this is my family and I can't leave them. Quote I asked. Why did you call for help then? She said, I have a very bad tongue. She pulled out her tongue and started cutting it with a knife. Watching her cut it, tears appeared in my eyes, I thought, oh my god looking into the corridor, I saw the open front door, it was my only chance for salvation, with quiet steps I reached the door, going outside, I ran as fast as I could. After running two kilometers, I ran out onto the road, fell to my knees, I started laughing loudly with joy that I got out, and everything was already in the past.